And also in times where like I'm feeling stressed out, then I start to sweat a little bit more than usual. Like if I'm at my job or something and something happens and like I feel like it's my fault and I'm I'm trying my hardest to correct it. As I'm doing that, I'm I'm not I'm fucking just nervously sweating like the whole time. But <clears throat> then again, I also have, I, I, I still believe I have like high blood pressure because I don't know why else I would just be like constantly like hot all the time. Like sometimes I would just, you know, do some exercising or something and then I would just be sweating already. Like I, like I don't even do much and then I suddenly just start sweating. I don't think that's just me being lazy. I, like I don't, I don't want to say it at least. I don't want to say that's just me being lazy. Dude, is that the Lennon plays in my chat? Holy shit. Is that the Lennon plays in my chat right now? Len, uh, you're not going to believe this, but I actually got sub 212 in 106. I got 211.52. And what's more is that it can actually go a lot lower. Like I'm, I'm trying to get it to the point where it's like I don't really need to like start lowering it that much. Yep, fucking Lennon plays. Pink split. How's life going, Len? Been a while. I am not working right now because I decided to take some time off from work to focus on like a bunch of other stuff. Namely my Japanese courses that I'm actually like, you know, I have to pay for those. But, um,. Outside of that, you know, I'm not working, I'm doing Japanese lessons, and I'm trying to get, like, a sort of high 210, low 211 in this game. Like, high 210, low 211 is my goal for this. Once I get that, I think I'm finally, like, done with 106 for the time being. I got the 211.52, and I was just like, yep, yeah, no, that, su that fucking sucks, I'm, I have to get it lower. Into the title of the stream, uh, <laughs> and trying to improve the last word because it's bad. <clears throat> if you were to watch my word, you would understand why I say it's bad. Because there's just literal time save, just or there's there's just time loss like fucking everywhere in in there. There's like eight seconds in H two O no. There's twelve seconds in Eskimo roll. There's twenty six seconds in the Avalanche. 15 seconds in Crash and Burn Relic because I just decided like nah no I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the beginning really early and wall boost like shit.
I have like a minute and one second of time save in this PB run. And yet for some reason, it's actually extremely hard to get to that point because I'm, I'm stuck in warp one and two all day. Granted, today I did get to warp three twice, but they both died to gone because of stuff. I got a 12.09 warp 1 also uh, Wednesday morning. I210 would be cracked. It would be cracked. That's kind of what I'm trying to get. Because my sum of best keeps dropping every time I finish runs. Uh, so right now it's like at 209.55, which is like just an unbelievable time, by the way. That's unreal. Like, I don't think 209 is even humanly possible. Like, if 210 is barely humanly possible, then 209 is like literally task level shit. At least at, at this point in time. Because, I mean, like, I'm not sure what exactly my golds could be. Because my splits always kept changing. Like, I never had a consistent set of 106 splits until, like, I got this PC. And I just decided, like, nah, dude, I, I need to stick to some splits. Like, it has to just stay like this. What sucks ass is that Eskimo Roll has a gem cycle, but I've actually been beating the gem cycle by a lot. Like, I'll beat it by like maybe five seconds at points. So I have to like sit there for five seconds and wait on the, the cycle to line up so that I can actually do it. It's fucked up because it's like, it kind of just imposes a speed cap in Eskimo Roll. Like, yeah, you can maybe go as fast as you want, but you still gotta wait on the platform cycle. It's fucked up. Twenty six seconds in Avalanche, this fail failed the secret gem? No, I died in the bonus. Like, there's this spin coyote jump thing I do in the bonus and for some reason I just didn't get a jump so I lost 26 seconds the avalanche and in my PB I literally call that out I say 26 seconds in in avalanche like after I get out of it it's so shitty it's so shitty. I, I I hate that that's in a world record VOD. Because people are going to look at that and they're going to be like, bro, what the fuck? Like, how is this world record? My 208, I mean, my, my 21208 was, or I'm sorry, my 21207 was way better in terms of, like, actual consistent gameplay than my 211 is. My 211 is, like, shaky as fuck. There's so many moments where it's like you, you see that something is about to happen and you wish that it wouldn't and then it does happen. Like I die or something and you're like, oh my god, no, please don't die. And then I just, I end up dying. It sucks. Yeah, I know. Like, the, the platform ride itself takes a long time. That's why dying in there is such a huge time waster. Same thing with Jungle Rumble. If you die in Jungle Rumble's bonus, the platform ride takes forever. So you're losing, like, 30 seconds plus, no matter what, in Jungle Rumble.
Also, Len, I hate to say it, but I think Xbox might be obsolete soon. If I get, like, 210 on PS2, then, like, yeah, I'm just gonna have to hang up the Xbox, bro. I'm sorry. Any percent, any percent at this point is all only PS2. Like there, there's like no way you can get world record on Xbox. Uh, but more specifically, no crystal dupe on PS2 or on on Xbox is like the most optimal. I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What did I? What the fuck did I just say? No crystal dupe on PS2 is the most optimal. Xbox is completely obsolete. There, there's like no way. Um, regular any percent can still be, uh, get, uh, you can still get world record on Xbox for regular any percent, but, uh, yep, doing that. Unmodded PS2? Uh... So I have an Elgato PCIe capture card, which I hook straight into the computer. And for an upscaler, I use the RetroTink 5X. Retrotink 5X makes this game look a hundred times better on PS2. I had this old, like, HDMI converter for my, uh, PS2's, like, thing. It also kind of, it also got rid of the, the interlacing, but at the same time, it was just like, ew, you know? Sometimes it would just fucking die for no reason. So I had to get something that was like a legitimate upscaler, not like some cheap $40 piece of shit I bought off of Amazon. That was made by Hyperkin, by the way. Fucking Hyperkin. Whoever does their electronic work really needs to like up their game because holy shit. Every piece of electronics that I buy from Hyperkin only lasts for a few months and then like the faulty wiring inside just starts to like fuck up and it just doesn't work right anymore. Fuck my life. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm like a second or two behind now. I can tell from the music cues. Like, I should be at a, a specific point in the level when, like, this part of the song starts playing. That's how I typically judge how, like, far behind I am. Because I just listen to the music. Like, right now, I want to say I'm, like, maybe two to three seconds behind right now. Now I'm going to make funny. Funny. Put this sheet here. And then you put this book here. Bruh. Alright, just... Fucking, you know what? Just, just add five seconds. Just get it over with. That hurts. Oh, okay. Thanks, Elite. Somebody tell Elite thank you. Or just like, just type like he says T Y in chat or something. I don't fucking know.
Huh? Damn, really? I lost time? Was it really because I just missed that box? Sheesh, dude. Bonsai kind of tight. very glad that my one of my shots just did not get eaten by an enemy because I would have been very upset. Holy shit, I'm going to die! Oh my jeez! Whoa, okay, alright, we're good.
Oh my god, okay. And I did it again! Oh my gosh, dude. It just doesn't end! Every time I fucking miss the strat, I forget what to do. Oh god, I'm so fucking annoyed by that. Can I just stop freaking out when I miss the strat? Well, sadly, I don't think we're saving that much time out of this. In fact, I don't think we're saving anything at all. One second. One second. When I had, like, eight. That really just goes to show how, like, missing the bonus strat fucks everything up. Man, I really wish I wasn't plus three out of fucking warp two, but I mean, we just gotta roll with it, I guess.
Whoa. Been in the same boat before. The question is, can I get out of Gauntlet this time? Oh, I didn't make it. Yeah, that one was looking kind of sketch. No time save from that.
Or because of the bonus platform. Okay. Thank God we're out. Yo, hey, what's up, Mark? Did somebody say talk? Did somebody say talk? Yo, what's going on, Maple?
Oh my Jesus. I should not have done. Oh God. Holy shit, those pistons, dude. I could have literally just thrown the entire run right there. So, we now have a legitimate chance, but I gotta get out of Crash Droids. I've got to get out of Crash Droids for at least some time save. Once I'm out of Crash Droids, then it's just Avalanche, because like, to put it into perspective, I golded Crash Droids, so I need to at least be on par with my gold to save any time. And just like minimize time loss if possible. Because as soon as I make it out of Avalanche with all that, like, with that 26, juicy 26 seconds of time save, I'm probably going to be chilling until the end of Warp 5. But then after that, I'm going to have to try and focus my ass off to try and not throw in Warp 6 after that. And also not throw in, like, the Relics, because the Relics, dude, the Relics can spiral out of control within, like, one death. Almost piston it away. <laughs> or wait, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just flew in from the new ruins level, and boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> Oh, thank you, thank you very much, thank you, thank you very much. Well, that was funny stuff. Wow, funny stuff, Don, did you say that? Alright, let's see how Warp 4 goes. I literally could not have asked for a better Warp 3, by the way. Warp 3 was smooth. For once, Warp 3 was entirely smooth. I had to wait on that shark because it would have gotten in the way of the bomb.
Time save. I am God. Fucking Sonic.exe over here. Hyper realistic blood. Sonic keeps harassing me in the game, and I don't know why. Text box popped up that said ready for round two, and I don't know what the fuck that means. Is there a creepypasta somewhere that's called Sonic.exe round two? Because I really want to know if somebody ever made, like, or at least tried to make a follow up to that shit. <clears throat> It'd be really funny if someone made round two. I want to know how, like, edgy it is, because Sonic the DXE was already kind of edgy. Ow, the edge. <laughs> Dude, the time trial for this level is so fucking easy compared to the box gem pass. Like, wow.
do I cut straight to Avalanche? Decisions, decisions. I don't think so. Cause I need to. I need to get Crash Droids out of the way. Like, there's, there's no way. Avalanche can wait. Crash Droids is like the real problem here. Cause I mean, this level could just spiral super easily. Sonic that EXE two electric boogaloo. Sonic that EXE round two. Oh shit! Here we go. I like how, by the way, that creepy pasta was told from like the perspective of some dude who was playing the game, and Sonic was just like doing that for some reason. To his friends. Like, why was he just tormenting fucking Tails and Knuckles in the game? Like, why wasn't he trying to attack the player? Video game creepypastas are always like the most cringe shit because they never are told from the perspective of like someone who's being like haunted by a video game. It's more just like the video game itself is just like really weird and creepy. Oh shit, dude, come on. Oh, that's definitely not a gold. That's that's not a good first split. I lost like three seconds somewhere. X is not only dangerous and powerful, he is downright sadistic and insane. Oh fuck. Dark Clash of Cl Dark Clash of Clans creepy pasta. What? what? Clash of Clans creepy pasta? That's how you know it's like garbage, is because like it has Clash of Clans in it. Because like Clash of Clans is like well after the golden age of creepy pastas. Okay, uh, enemies, please. Good, we don't have to worry about crash rates anymore. Let's fucking get out of here. Lost three seconds? Yeah, I don't, I literally don't care. All I gotta do is get out of Avalanche. Who wins? Shinward Suicide or Sonic.exe? Shinward Suicide. Why, why, why? <laughs> Why did you have to throw that in there, bro? Let Shin die in peace. Uh, I'm probably gonna hit by the gondola. No? I don't know how I managed to not get hit by the gondola, but I'm just gonna take it. Oh my Jesus. And there goes my time save. Well, not all my time saves gone, but that's pretty shitty. Like, it's not saving as much time as I'd like, but I mean, anything is better than dying. <sighs> that's really ass. Okay, this is like actually a really sloppy avalanche because I, I I literally just want to get out of here with like the free time save, but I think I'm just gonna lose about maybe six or so. Oh my god, yeah, this is really this is really bad. Like 
If my avalanche wasn't crap, I'd probably be losing time here. Yeah, I had way more to save than that, and it's pretty evident, because I lost 26, and I only got back 18, so I lost like 8 seconds somewhere, which is kind of crap. I mean, the bonus was bad, I got a random bounce at the start of the stage that I didn't expect, and then just a bunch of slop, so I mean, yeah, 8 seconds sounds about right. Everyone's favorite part of the game, yeah. Uh, uh. Why are the monkey bars so fucking shit? Why are the monkey bars so shit? Is my gold here with checkpoint snipe? It's actually not. 
I think my gold just gets like really good uh, hangrail RNG and that's it. Like the electric hangrails are RNG. Like they'll stay up for a random amount of time before they switch over. I gotta do some research as to like how much time is actually like the maximum. And how much time it would be before like it switches over to the next set of rails. Because like it's entirely random as to like how long they stay up, how long they stay off, and like when the next set shows up, you know? It's all random, so I gotta figure that sh that shit out. Because I just got really good RNG in my uh, PB, as long as well as just playing really so. Oh shit! Shit! Oh fuck! Checkpoint snipe is not a strat that I'm really comfortable with right now, especially because like I I've yet to practice it like a lot. Um, like I can hit the checkpoint no problem. It's just shooting the gem quickly is the problem because if I shot the gem like first try then like yeah I would be saving a bunch of time and I'll probably gold uh, by a lot but that's the thing is like shooting the gem is hard because you can barely see it also you got to work with the mechs shooting which is not as graceful as the bazooka so there's that too Yeah, I don't know why the electric hang rails are random. Yeah, I lost a bit of time because of the laser hand. Let's be expected though. That freaking laser hand, dude. Sucks. Still better than my PB LMAO. So we're going into Gold Rush. With 30 seconds of time save. Holy shit. All we can do is pray that Warp 5 doesn't dick me over. Even if it does, I mean, I'm just glad I, I made it this far today. With with actual time save. Like, holy shit, look at that time save. It could be more, yes, but I'm just glad I even have it. Like, with time save like that, I can get a, a 211.22. Which would be, like, close to my goal. Like, if, if I got 211.20 or something, then I'd be like, alright, yeah, fine. You know what? Sure. Let's just call it a day. But that's also not taking into account the 15 seconds I have at the end of the run that I lost to Crash and Burn Relic. Ah, oh, shit, shit. Yeah, that's the problem, is that, like, I have all that time- I have all this time save, but it's really early in the run, so I need to sustain it until it matters. But e even if I lose some of it, towards the end, I have, like, a free 15 seconds as long as I just don't die in the same spot. Which is pretty easy, all things considered. I hit the switch tonight. Yep. Yeah. 
need to be careful here because I don't have masks. Nice gold. Oh, I got it. Sweet. Would you believe me if I told you that the gem snipe in my PB was actually a lot better than the one I got in Gold Rush, like, just now? My PBs was actually a lot better. Like, it, like I literally whipped it out, and it was already in position. I just shot and went for it. an extra mask. I actually really need this mask.
another gold. Six seconds? And it dies in Medieval Madness. Oh my god. No, 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 please, please. Oh my gosh, damn it. I think I just lost the cycle. I lost the cycle. I'm losing like 10 seconds here. Yeah, there goes the cycle. God damn it. <sighs> that sucks. That really sucks. That is extremely unfortunate. I'm probably gonna be let's let's just see. Let's let's see how much time I lose after this. Because it's it's not gonna be pretty. That's like 15 seconds at most that I just lost there to that one mistake. Aw, oh, fuck my life, dude. Shit, shit. Oh! Okay, dude, I got 15 seconds. Hope. Yeah, we're definitely not golding medieval today. That was... That's a monumental fuck-up. Bam I mean, even Bamboozled is kind of anxiety-inducing, because if you miss a box, you just lose four seconds. But with all the other ones, if you make a mistake, you just die. And you have to re <laughs> you have to go back, like, a long distance. And because uh, Medieval and Eskimo Roll are so cycle-based, so if you fuck up a cycle, you just lose time anyways. I mean, to be fair, Bamboozled is also cycle-based, but it's like... You miss four seconds and then you just get to try again. It's not like that bad. Eskimo and Medieval, on the other hand, are like, if, if you fail the cycle, you're losing like 10 plus. Like they are so cycle dependent, it's crazy. I would only really consider like Medieval and Eskimo to be like the only two hardball stages because Solar Bowler's gem is only hard if you've got, like, mad anxiety, which, I mean, sometimes I do get anxiety and I sort of fuck up in that box gem. But at the same time, if you just chill out, it's not, like, it's not, like, that bad. Okay, and go.
12 seconds. Oh my god, dude. That really sucks. Like, that time save, almost 40 seconds out of Crash and Burn, that's actually kind of insane. I didn't think I had that much time to save. Dude, shit just keeps getting lower and lower, I swear. Anytime I get a Golden Warp 5, my sob drops by like a fucking year. Uh, I golded Cortex Vortex in my PB too. I actually golded all three of these like later stages in Warp 5. Like Medieval, Cortex Vortex, and Cray Pulse, which I'm probably not going to get Cray Pulse. I might lose like six seconds to Cray Pulse because my PB was insane. Dude, okay, I think I may have missed the platforms. Unless I really move my ass, I don't think I'm going to be able to make this cycle. I may have lost six seconds. Because that would have been, uh, like, on pace for the platform cycle, but I got to random double jump when I was trying to go for a body slam. I'm going to try to cut as many corners as I can during the chase, but I mean, there's only so much I can do here. Let's say somehow find some kind of wall to wall boost off of to save some time, but I don't think wall boosting is really going to help me here.
just really good cornering and taking the straightest line from point A to point B, like around a turn. No, I, I missed it. Of course. six seconds I knew it damn dude I lost like 18 seconds in warp 5 and it's not even really because of like any major mistake well there was a major mistake in medieval madness but that was it like I missed a cycle that was it I didn't get the platform god cycle so I lost six seconds it could be better could be better Tiptoe spotted. Tiptoe out of dismiss. Well, relic time. Which, by the way, I still have, I think I still have time to save in these relics, but whether or not Tornado Alley wants to cooperate is literally all up to chance. I love relics. 
<laughs> Said nobody ever. <laughs> I love refrigerators. Where's that bubble bastard? Oh, thank God. Thank God that one busted. Probably... It's hard to say. My sub zero chillabrator running? I guess. Well, you better go catch it! <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That is rich. Let's go home. That really could have been faster. If anybody ever wonders why I double jump and then start mashing the shit out of spin, I try to keep my APM high as I'm doing literally nothing. It's also like try to make sure like, it's like a self vibe check. I need to make sure that I'm actually ready to do shit. Start wall boosting along the right wall. Is my sub zero refrigerator? Rechilibrator. Fuck, it's rechilibrator. My sub zero rechilibrator running? Er. Yes. You thought it would be funny? Why would you think it'd be funny? It's like buying Ender the Dragonfly and thinking, Oh my god, dude, this game is so fucking bad. Oh yeah, I'm gonna really enjoy this. And then you just never play it. 
Wow, this game's so fucking shit. I love it. Whoa, dude. I fucking love how bad this game is. That's how it comes off when people say stuff like that. And okay. I'm glad I had a mask. You saw Crash just mash slide and you thought it was silly? I mean, if you watch speedruns, yeah. The funny thing about it is that, like, you can make fun of Twok for having this kind of movement, but I mean, there are a lot of other Crash games that have, like, similarly, like, simple movement, where it just revolves around sliding a whole lot. I mean, fuck, Crash Back in Time is like that. You just slide through the whole game. And it has, like, Crash 4's Coyote Time physics, where it's like, if you slide off of a ledge, you just kind of, like, retain that shit. So you can do some cool shit and crash back in time, but I mean, like, at the end of the day, you're just mashing slide throughout that whole game. Crash 4 kind of has, like, similar, similarly uh, simple movement. I mean, mo like, literally most of that game is just slide spinning. Like, that's it. Just regular ass slide spinning. There's another mask there, but I don't know if it's really worth it. Uh, it was probably worth it to go get it, considering the piston cycle. I never know what the piston cycle actually is, though. That's kind of the problem. Like, I would go for that mask, but I just don't know what the piston cycle is. Because I don't practice the, like, the full relic enough. Time save. Oh. Every crash game, you just be sliding. I mean, yes, exactly. I mean, fucking Twin Sanity is like that. Twin Sanity is just a slide jumping. I mean, well, okay, I, I take that back. It's not just slide jumping. It's like a mix of slide jumping plus long jumping plus a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, never mind what I just said. My thumb's kind of tired. It's also slipping off the analog stick a lot. <laughs> yeah, but Crash 3 is neutral slide jump. It's similarly just as good. And in fact, probably has a little bit more of use than Neutral Slide Spin does. Neutral Slide Spin is good for covering, like, ground movement. And SJs are good for covering ground movement and air movement. That's kind of like the trade-off with Crash 2 is, like, you, you can go really fast along the ground. But in the air, you're just back to being at normal speed. Unless you're on ice, then, then it's different. In both games, ice physics really influence your momentum. Especially Crash 3. Fucking Sphinxinator uh, death route. Like, when you do diagonal slides on that ice with the ice physics, dude, you go so fucking fast on that ice. Like, true, it's not Crash 2 PAL levels of speed, but it's still, like, the fastest you can go on, like, any Crash game. Because going diagonally with a slide is the fastest speed you can go in the entire game. Crash Purple, my god, my man, dude, Crash Purple's so fucking good. 
I don't I don't even mean that ironically. I, I like fully mean that. Crash Crash Purple is pretty good. Is it like Is it perfect? Fucking no. It's a minigame collection. But it's a really fun minigame collection. Like I don't mind the fact that it's a minigame collection because it's still a fun game. Like it feels just like a GBA crash game. That's why I don't really mind it too much. Now crap now spiral orange. I will shit talk that game all day. That game fucking sucks. In like more ways than I can even describe. Like I played Spiral Orange on stream and I got hit with the trap of uh by the way, you have to do you have to beat every minigame three times in order to access the final love the final world. And I was so pissed. You you don't you don't even know. I was so fucking mad. I'll just get Bonsai over with. It I think it's better to do um I think it's better to do seashell and then go into Bonsai Relic, but, you know, I may as well get this shit over with. Bonsai Relic is a sleeper, uh, sleeper hard level. Like, you don't, you don't know how hard this is until you try to do it without Triple Mask. Triple Mask makes this part easy, and then it also just guarantees that you have masks for, like, the later part of the level, too. Like, for some reason, every time I don't have Triple Mask in this Relic, I just fucking lose everything. Like, my whole, my whole world just collapses if I don't have Triple Mask here. Spire of Two GBA is that season of ice? Because I know there's season of flame and season of ice. I just don't remember which one it is. I think when I was a kid, I had I had a season of ice. Remember I played it as a kid and I was just like, yeah, it's all right. You know, 3D. But I wasn't like a huge Spyro fan at, at when I was a kid because I didn't I didn't have the console games. So just having like a random Spyro GBA game wasn't well, it didn't really like do anything for me. It wasn't until I was like well into my teens, like I think I was maybe like maybe 17 or 18, before I even like bought my own copies of Spyro. No, I think I was 19 actually. I was 19 when I bought my own copies of Spyro. I bought Spyro 2 and 3, and that was it. I didn't even get Spyro 1 because I didn't. The, the store I went to didn't even have those. So, I, I didn't even have Spyro 1 for the longest time. I didn't get Spyro 1 until I think last year. You know, I played through the whole game and I was like, yeah, it's a fun game. Definitely am a Spyro 1 enjoyer, but not to the... Well, I think I like to complete Spyro 1 more than I like to complete Spyro 2 and 3. That's... That's like the only upside I'll give Spyro 1, is that I like to complete it more than the other two. Completing Spyro 2 is a fucking nightmare. Because Spyro 3, the only thing I will say about Spyro 3 is that it's very easy to clip into... Sh it's like, easy to clip into shit. So if you don't want to bother with like rescuing a friend and then like, 
going to a previous world to uh, play their stage. Then, like, just fucking clip into it, and it's free. And also, uh, the extra characters in, like, other stages, like, when, like in Sunny Villa, for example, uh, you can just clip into Sheila's door and not have to worry about anything. Pray for a good relic, dude. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, when there's an enemy underneath me, I hate that. I hate it a lot. I really don't like it when an enemy is underneath me. Yeah, double jumping in Spyro 2 really just cut down a lot on a lot of the backtracking, I will admit. There's also a lot of cool shit you can do in Spyro 2, but I mean... Man. Some shit in Spyro 2, dude. Like, I just... No. Like, the entirety of Autumn Plains just drags the fuck on. And by the by the time you get to Winter Tundra in Spyro 2, like, that's where all the best levels are, in my opinion. Like, Metropolis, Robotica Farms, fucking... Whatever the other... Can, can in Speedway? <laughs> no, not Canyon Speedway. I, I'm actually not a big fan of Canyon Speedway. Also, Ripto is like without a doubt the best boss. Thing. Well, I is I maybe, but Gulp is also up there. Like Gulp is probably one of the best spiral bosses ever. But then again, Spyro 2 just has, like, the, some of the best boss fights in the whole series, so, you know. It's not even close. Like, a lot of the boss fights in Spyro 3 just kind of come down to, like, you abusing a gimmick of some sort. I mean, hell, even the Sorceress. The Sorceress has a gimmick. It's the gimmick of you can't actually damage her with any of the shit that you have, so you have to resort to using, like, tanks and other stuff like shoot at her. It's fucking stupid. Scorch is like one of the worst freaking boss fights. Because it's all RNG as to whether or not you're even gonna like damage him. Nice gold. Oh yeah, Mystic Marsh and Cloud Temples are also in there. Well, I, I, I really like uh, Mystic Marsh. I like Mystic Marsh more than I do like Cloud Temples. I don't really like Cloud Temples that much.
You're not too big of Mystic Marsh, that's fair. That whole, like, fetch quest in Mystic Marsh is kind of annoying, I will say. Probably my... Despite me knowing where- Oh, fuck, what am I doing? Uh, time loss? Dude, fuck my life. I'm losing time to Gauntlet Relic, of all things. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, maybe not. I forgot that that uh, piston, like, you can't... You can't pass it normally. You have to wait for it. So maybe not. Maybe I'm not losing that much time. So I actually don't think I lost any time there. So that actually makes me feel a little bit better. I thought I was just going to lose like a shitload, but turns out I didn't. And time for the freest relic in the game. It, <clears throat> it blows my mind that we're pacing right now. That could have been catastrophic if I just had landed a little shorter on that jump. Like, if I failed this relic, oh my god, dude, the whole pace would be shot. I really didn't want to take that chance. Oh 
Huh? Thank you, Mark, for posting ha huh, every time I say ha. Huh. <laughs> That's literally my face every time I get a random gold. Start getting some time crates, uh, maybe because I may actually fail the relic. Fucking hell, Zoe. Tits out for PB.
Here goes. Rico dominance. <laughs> Real talk, I really do like the CNK design of Coco. I think it aged pretty well. Totally not for any other reasons. <laughs> I like how I like how he posts his he posts his bras <laughs> as I say that. Uh, <laughs> what's so bruh about that? I'm just tired, bro. I'm just tired. I'm sleepy. This level puts me to fucking bed. Eepy. 
This is why what this is why you do drugs? Why do you do drugs? What what's the reason? To stay wired? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Bedge. Fuck, fuck, ah, uh, losing time. Imagine losing time to Ghost Town, dude. Yo, what's up, nun? Oh, I'm uh, nun. Nura, Nura, oops, my bad. Are you gonna be happy with this PB? Depends. It depends on a lot of things. Oh, Crunch, please don't pass me. Did you guys know that Crunch will take a random path? Like, he'll just choose a path. Like, no matter what, he'll just choose a random path. So sometimes he'll actually be pretty close to you, and other times he won't be anywhere near you. Because sometimes he'll just choose, like, the wrong path. Or just, like, a slower path. RNG crunch. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll continue if this is a PB. Because, like, it depends on a lot of things, really. Like, how much time am I really going to be saving after this? Like, if I get to warp 5 relics and then save that time, am I really going to be proud of that? That's the thing. But, I mean, if I get like 45 seconds or lower, then I think it's safe to say I'm, I'm done. <laughs> But we'll have to see. We can't just assume I'm going to PB after this. Because here comes Solar Bowler right after this level. And Solar Bowler really shits my pants. Also not prepared to do the time trial strat yet again for Solar Bowler. I'm just gonna have to link the uh, Solar Bowler time trial strat in like the description of this. Uh, if this PBs, I'm just gonna have to link it in the description because there is no fucking way that I'm gonna land that shit under pressure. Do you get more stress for the relic run or the box run? It, definitely the relic. It's, it's not even close. It's not even a comparison. The relic is like the most tense part of Solar Bowler because the if you go for the time trial strap, you have one shot to pull it off. If you miss that shot, you are dead and you are losing like 20 to 25 seconds. Easy.
I don't know, dude. They they had the level geometry for like a level. Like Ice Station Bandicoot was originally supposed to be an on foot level, but I guess they couldn't really figure out like how to make it into a level, so they just turned it into like a Rings of Power clone. I don't know, dude. Sort of preaching to the choir on that one. Also, what's up, Jamie? Thanks for the good luck. Oh, okay. Chill. Oh, dude, come on. Don't do this. Let's see what I get. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not confident at all. I might just do the backup. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm just gonna do the backup. I've got 30 seconds of freaking time save. I'm not risking that shit. And yeah, I couldn't have gone for it anyways. Thanks. Whoa, oh my gosh. Yeah, sadly. Just gonna have to take that time loss. Yo, what's up, G Pro? Yep, we are on a run. Whether it's going to stay is entirely up to warp 5. We're past the hard part of Force of Nature now, thankfully. Everything from, like, the ramp jump to, uh, like, that one box that was right in front of a skier. Yeah. That's the hard part. Everything else is pretty easy. And 
and victory lap. This is probably not going to gold because my gold in my PB is pretty good. My heart rate's kind of spiking, and it's not even because I'm in Force of Nature, it's because I have to do Crate Balls next. I think once I'm out of Crate Balls, my heart rate should start going back down. Alright, I'm good now, I'm good. Please, heart, heart, stop beating so fast. Please. My heart's gotta chill, dude. I can't handle this. Don't you love how right around this part is when the music starts to get fucking awesome? Like, the moment I cross that platform line, the music gets awesome. Are you doing offline runs? Oh shit. Good luck with those, G Pro. Heart rate monitor win, bro. If I had a heart rate monitor, it'd be going crazy right now. Like, as soon as I went into crate balls, my heart rate was, was spiking. And I think as soon as I landed the trick, my heart rate was also spiking. 
Like, I think when I landed the strat, that's when my heart rate spiked. Go, dude, go! Holy crap, the lag there was so bad. It's still bad, what the hell? You got out of Ant Agony once? I believe in you, dude. Wait, what category are you doing? You're doing Hundo? Oh, oh shit. Uh, that's... Ah, oh, shit, that's not very good, though. <laughs> if you only gotta have AA once, that I, I assume runs aren't doing very well. This is Ohio in 20 years, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Rip people who live in Ohio, aka G Pro. evil twin. Well, I just say 15 seconds, LMAO.
Do not grab this mask for the love of God. Bro, th this isn't happening, dude. Yes, dude, yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! Yes! Yeah! Holy shit, dude! Let's get it! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, baby! Let's get it! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, man, I just... I busted so many eardrums. I'm so sorry, but holy fuck! Holy fuck, dude! 2-11-07! And there's more to save! 